In Carroll County, many roads are closed and homes there flooded. Residents are bracing themselves for what's to come in the days ahead. 24-hour news aide Elizabeth Choi spent the afternoon in Carroll County. She's back now to tell us more, Elizabeth. Brooke, this was such an adventure. We tried to get to places that had been hit hard, but every time we'd get close, the road would be closed due to flooding. Several people were stuck inside because they couldn't get out, which sort of worked out for one family. The Griffiths kids don't seem to mind that their yard doubles as a swimming pool. They spent the day splishing and splashing around. But last night, the storms were no laughing matter. Cell phone video captures the tornado right before it wreaked havoc on their small community of Deer Creek. It was forming above us. We, I mean, it, the corn stalks were laying down, and we could hear it. Hail was hitting our face. The Griffiths family was actually on the road not too far from their home when their car broke down as the tornado was making its way toward them. I couldn't get it started, so we all took off running to the nearest house. They got a ride home just before a portion of their road, State Road 29, collapsed. <laughs> Crews spent the morning trying to repair the road. The water has went around the culvert and washed out the roadway. Good portion of it underneath the pavement is washed out, so the state highway here is trying to do what they can to uh, fix the problem. We drove around the county also. It wasn't tough to find roads underwater. Officials closed down several. It's been quite a problem talking to some of the drivers coming in from all different directions said that they're having trouble getting anywhere because they're finding everywhere direction they go. They're running into roads that are closed because of high water. So the Griffiths didn't venture far from home, finding it tough to find a rainbow after the storm. Besides the kids having fun in the water? Not really. <laughs> Officials also pulled a vehicle out of the water. Fortunately, there were no reported injuries. As far as State Road 29 at last check, it is still closed down as crews try to repair that portion that collapsed. In the studio, Elizabeth Choi, 24-hour News 8.